You are welcome to today's broadcast. Sure Destiny TV, reaching people and touching lives. Hello fellow Nigerians, how are you all doing? We know the season we are in is quite a challenging season. We just finished the presidential election. We all know what transpired. Many people came out in their numbers to vote. In the history of all Nigerian elections, we've never had the number of voters come out to vote, especially the young people. It was obvious that the young people want to see a change. They want to see the birth of a new nation. Nigerians, I want to congratulate you, all of you that came out on the 25th of February and cast your vote. I salute you for your courage and your willingness to take your nation back. I want to say thank you very much. We know what's going on right now. INEC had promised us President Buhari several times came out to tell Nigerians and the international community that he will ensure that 2023 election is free, fair, and credible. And he said Nigerians are free to elect the person of their choice, to vote the person of their choice from any party they choose to. He said every Nigerian is free to vote the person of his choice. And that was exactly what Nigerians did on the 25th. But oh, how this was short-lived. And not only President Buhari, but even the INEC chairman, he told Nigerians several times that they are going to ensure that 2023 election is the most credible of all and that there will be no hitches. He promised us that it will be real-time transmission of the result. That means in the different polling units, as people finish voting, the result will be transmitted immediately so that the entire nation will see the results as they are being uploaded real time. Hundreds of billions of Naira were already a mark to ensure that 2023 election is an election that people will feel comfortable with, people will be confident with, and people will be assured of transparency. And that is why people came out in their record numbers to ensure that they cast the vote of their lifetime. Young people came out, elderly people came out on the 25th. President Buhari had promised protection. We saw the army in Lagos and in some other cities. So people were so sure that their lives were going to be saved. But oh, how we were so wrong. Instead of protecting lives of people and property, people were left on their own to fear for their own lives. And many people's lives were in danger. Ballot boxes were seized. People were terrorized, even under gunpoint. People's lives were being threatened with some mass rigging where people were sitting in one place and just thumb printing and thumb printing. There were so many irregularities. So one kept asking, where was President Buhari's promise? He said it was going to be free, fair and credible. Did we have a free, fair and credible election? Every Nigerian, you saw what happened. Thugs were released. I next up were under gunpoint. They were being forced to falsify the result, to rig the election. And in some instances where INEC staff are supposed to be non-partisan, they are supposed to be an independent electoral commission. That means they are not on any side. They shouldn't take side. But you know what? That was completely compromised. We saw how INEC staff themselves were disenfranchising the voters. Voters were locked out of the polling station. And what was happening was that the security agents that were supposed to protect lives of people and property, they were found in some instances and some cases from printing together with INEX staff. So how if an INEX staff start voting for people? Who are they voting for? And from many of the ballot papers that were found after the rigging, it was for the ruling party they kept voting and voting. So this cannot be referred to as a free fair and credible election. President Buhari that promised us that the election will be free, fair and credible. He is now trying to make the nation believe that Tinubu is actually the credibly elected one. Many people were refused voting and in some instances the INEC staff only got there when it was just an hour or two to the end of the election. Some places, some people did not even vote at all in some unit, yet the result came out. It is said in the history of all elections in Nigeria, 
2023 election is the worst of all. I don't know how you want to play it. People can come out and say, no, oh, let Obi, let Atiku, let Kwankwaso just accept defeat. You can accept defeat if the playing field was even. If there was no rigging, if everything was transparent, then people will accept. But not when we seek, after spending billions to ensure that the elections are hitch free, that the machines all work, the beaver machines work, that the IRF portals, everything will work. What then was it for? On the day that it was needed the most, after all the promises made by Mahmoud Yakubu, have you forgotten last year? Mahmoud Yakubu came and faced Nigerians to tell them that people should disregard the story that is in the media saying that INEC has a plan to frustrate the whole process of uploading of the result because people were suspecting that there's a plan for the machines not to work so that they can do it manually. And he came to say that they will never do anything to disenfranchise or to disadvantage Nigerians. He even promised that this will be the best election and that they are working for Nigerians and not for any political party. I'm going to play it so you can hear it from his own mouth. When he was in Chantam House, he was asked again concerning the credibility. Will the beavers work? Will they upload real time? He kept promising and promising. And it was on those premises, it was on that platform and on that assurance that Nigerians went out in their record numbers to vote on the 25th. But how? Nigerians now, their hope has been dashed. And now, what are we talking about? People have to go to court on something you promised us, that everything was going to be saved. On this note, let me seize this opportunity to respond to a story emanating from a section of the media that the commission has decided to jettison the uploading of polling unit level results in real time on election day. It should please be disregarded as fake news. The commission will upload polling unit level results and citizens will be uh, will have access to those results in real time as we upload to the polling units. This innovation was introduced by the commission. The commission cannot turn around and undermine itself. This technology has come to stay. will upload polling unit level results from the polling unit. Citizens will have the right to view these results. After all, who are we serving? The citizens. How can we deprive citizens from access to um, the results uh, of the process conducted by them at the level of polling unit. So I welcome you to the commission. I want to assure you and reassure you that the 2023 general election is going to be our best ever elections. We are committed and that the votes cast by Nigerians will determine the outcome of elections. Nothing more, nothing There is also a sheer determination on the part of the commission to ensure that the elections hold and that they are free, fair and credible. Generally speaking, voting is going on nationwide. The bimodal voter accreditation system, the BIVAS, deployed nationwide for the first time, has been functioning optimally in most parts of the country. And we hear actually less and less of complaints about the functionality of the bimodal voter accreditation system than we hear about our other processes. Did you just hear Mahmoud Yakubu? He promised that the beavers were going to work and they will upload real time. He's just speaking now when the elections were already going on that they are getting the report that the beavers are working. Only a few complaints here and there. But then the presidential election results were not being uploaded. When the people tried to upload them at the different polling units, they could not do it. Only the one for the Senate and the one for the House of Reps was going through. How can we trust the process that he promised was going to be free, fair, and credible? He said no Nigerian will be disenfranchised. But what are we seeing now? After promising us that everything was going to be free, fair, and credible, you were not supposed to be partisan, I know. You're supposed to represent the interest of all parties. But now you are seen to be only on the side of Tinubu of APC. Do you people know that on the 25th, do you people know that on the 25th of February, it was Ale Mahmoud Yakubu was spotted flying out of Lagos 
in Tinubu's private jet. What was he doing with one of the main contenders on that same night of the election? It is very, very obvious. INEC is not transparent. INEC is not sincere. Mahmoud Yakubu cannot be trusted. He's a man of double tongue. He's a man that has not lived up to his word. Mahmoud Yakubu, tell Nigerians the truth. Have you been bribed? If not, why were you so much in a hurry to give the certificate of return to Tinubu while people were still asking and you said you were going to give them opportunity, you will study whatever are the grievances, whatever the challenges, the loopholes, you will study that before you declare the winner. But you went ahead in a hurry to announce the winner. And now, after announcing the winner, the APC are saying, go to court, go to court. How can people be so confident about sending the so-called losers to court, if not because they have something they have already planned out with the courts? And I'm begging you, the judiciary, at least if politicians are rigging, they are still in the mandate of citizens. They don't have a heart for people. You are supposed to be the last bus stop. You are supposed to be the ones we should trust as a nation. But if the judiciary also loses credibility, then we don't have a nation. Politicians have robbed us. They have stolen from us. Innocent people have died in the hands of politicians. We know how desperate these evil, wicked politicians are for the sake of remaining in power so that they can keep stealing and stealing. They don't mind rigging and rigging, falsifying figures, turning 10 to 1,000 just because they want to stay in power at all costs. Why force yourself on the people? They don't want you. They say it is over. You have ruled for eight years. Is it by force? Many of these evil politicians have stolen the wealth of this nation through corrupt means, have stolen money, and that same money they have stolen and impoverished the nation and made so many people live in abject poverty. They come back with their stolen money and they bribe people. And these days, I'm ashamed of many of the so-called university professors that they are using as returning officers. All they are returning to us is nothing but evil, wickedness and corruption. Because of money, they will come and stand. A person that's supposed to be educated, they've gotten so used to bribery, a professor, that is supposed to be smart in the head is coming and reading lies reading something that he knows is not the truth because he or she has been bribed with money but i want to let you know the money you have eaten will die with you will perish with you you will not last prosperity will judge every professor that has been used or any returning officer that has collected money from these wicked politicians to come and lie to nigerians your time of judgment is coming. Don't think you will ever escape. If you escape, your children's children will pay the price of your corruption and your wickedness and your greed. God is watching you. I neck, whose side are you on? Are you on the side of Nigerians or on the side of greedy, wicked politicians that have bribed you? Are you serving the interests of Nigerians or the interests of Tinubu or APC? Whose interests are you serving? I want to warn every staff of INEC, you are in Nigeria. You will have no place to hide. And Mahmoud Yakubu is saying that his life is in danger. Have you thought about many people that you're about to disenfranchise through announcing a result you know is fake, a result you know is not credible, and you come and lie and you call yourself a professor? Shame on you, Mahmoud Yakubu. And you came out without shame, telling Nigerians and telling the whole world that you will ensure that this election is credible and transparent. Is that what you call transparency? With false results being declared? Then suddenly telling Nigerians that the Biva machines have gone wrong, the IREP portals are not, no longer working. When you promised us that you have tested them, you did a test run and you used it in the Oshun election and some other elections and everything is perfect. Then on that day, when we needed it the most, after billions were spent, is it your mother's money? You people are heartless. You are wicked. You are evil. After such money was invested, then on the day that we needed it the most, Nigerians are all, were all waiting to see the result being transmitted. Then you say there is, it, the machines failed. They failed suddenly that day. And you knew the reason. It's because you wanted to rig. 
you wanted to falsify the result because you have been bribed. Some of you have eaten the money from Tinubu and you're preparing to run away to another nation, but you have no escape. You can escape from Nigeria. You can escape from human beings, but you cannot escape from the almighty God. Are you hearing me? Wicked people, evil people. When Peter Obi left PDP and joined Labour Party, and with the obedient movement, they say, it's just two or three people that are in a room somewhere tweeting. Suddenly, a party or a candidate that was not a threat to you, suddenly is making you people become thieves, become liars, become cheats, become rogues during this election. Why were you falsifying figures? Why send the talks if you were so confident of yourself? Anybody that will use money to buy votes, that means that person is not fit to come near the seat of power or authority. You should be far from leadership. You are evil and wicked. We can't trust you. If you have to buy people's votes and you are using underage voters, using the security agents that are supposed to protect the voters, you keep voters outside. You bribe the security people to be thumbprinting for you. I next tap and now the one voting for the people. And then they are saying I got certificate of return, certificate of lies, certificate of robbery, broad daylight robbery, and you cannot escape. And suddenly they are panicking about the court because they noticed that they're going to lose the court case. Since OB was a nobody, since OB was just having a few followers, why are you so scared of him? Why is he suddenly giving you nightmares telling Nigerians that you are president elect? President, which kind of elect? Did you not send Peter OB and the others to court? You said they should go to court. Now they went to court to ask to inspect your machines and suddenly you say no you don't have enough space you will have to delete the information that is there wait what kind of machine did you pay billions on and just after one election then suddenly all the space is filled up you can talk to your elderly old generation but not this computer generation it's too childish to even come up with such a concept because we know about the cloud you can save it in the cloud you have the, the back this thing where you can back up things. In modern day, you are lying broad day and you think we are fools? <laughs> no. You are robbing us broad daylight and you say, we should accept, we should accept. Now we're going to court. Quickly you come, you go back to court and you say no. And now Peter will be of LP and some of the others have been given permission to inspect your machine. You refuse them, you disallow them. What are you hiding? If you don't have anything to hide, you will say, come and check. But when you are hiding, you quickly you say, no, they can't touch your machine, they can't. Then you must have something you are hiding. Maybe you have information that you know, if they check, they will discover all the rigging you have done, the false result you have declared. That's why you are hiding. You can hide now, but you will not hide forever. Now, I want to let you know, whether you like it or not, the truth is coming out. Peter Obi was obviously the winner, if not, why are you afraid? Why are you so scared? Why rig? The change, time for change has come and nobody can stop it. When the time of change comes, everything has to align. And I want to let you know, better surrender now before it's too late. Don't push the people beyond limit. Because if you push the people, you are trying to create a state of confusion and anarchy. And your evil desires to shed innocent blood will not succeed. You have already shed enough blood in Nigeria. You can see obviously that APC are working together with Mahmoud Yakubu of INET to steal this mandate from us, the people. But the time is now we must take our nation back. Peter Obi is the rightful winner. And if you are saying I'm lying, let's see the result from the different polling units on the day of the election. Not the new one you have brought out. Peter will be the rightful winner. Let them check the numbers, then prove me wrong. So Nigerians, I want to assure you, it is not yet over. Whether they like it or not, the truth is coming out. Remember, Peter will be is a man of peace. He wants to do everything according to the law. So nobody should take the law into their hands. We are confident that this time around, the justice system of Nigeria is gonna work. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your resilience. Thank you for your tenacity. Prepare your PVC. Go out on the 18th of March and vote for Labour Party from top to bottom.
Nigerians, you are great people. Your time has come to take your nation back. Share this video with as many people as you can. And I also want you to like the broadcast so that YouTube and Facebook will recommend it to many more people. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to seeing you next time. May God bless you and may God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. This is your friend and brother, Dr. Haruna Goro. Bye-bye for now.